What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and we're going to be checking out today the Rode Universal Vlogger Kit and the Hohem iSteady X Gimbal. Let's go ahead and open this up and they also made this for iPhone, so it's just Android and iPhone friendly. Let's open this up and here's the windshield and the microphone. And this is a 3.5 connection right here and this is the little shock absorber so you don't get that weird noises when you're bouncing around, moving around. So if you are traveling on an electric skateboard, you won't get all that wind noise. And right here is the mount. Solid build, metal build. So you can adjust it. And it looks like you can mount it two ways. So here's a screw right here. Actually more than that. You got one way to mount it right here, right here, and right here. And you adjust it using this knob. This is actually a bigger LED than I thought, and you can open this up. Oh, Type-C charging. So you have Type-C to charge it up. How do I turn? Oh my God. <laughs> I like, how do you like turn it on and blind myself? Um, yeah, it's super bright. Holy moly. It's really bright. Oh, it has an LED. It tells you the battery life. So, you know, there you go. You got a green light. You got good battery life. So we're going to put all this together and see how it sounds. Oh, this is the filters, diffuser. You got two tabs, top and bottom. And they just go right here on top and bottom. And it stays on pretty good. Let's turn it on. Oh, yeah. That's a lot nicer. And nice and even. Look at that. We're professional now. We have a tripod, too. This thing is pretty big. Whoa, this thing goes down pretty low. It's a low rider. It's like a ball joint right here. So you can angle it any which way or level your phone. This and twist it on. Now I do have a Rode Video Mic Me and this thing works pretty good. I use this for my overhead shots when I do tech repair. And it has a little mount. As you can see, you just plug this into your 3.5 audio jack and then this slides on to clamp onto your phone. It looks basically, this is the same microphone I got. Basically the same one. So I got two. Okay, and let's go ahead and twist that on. Plug this in right here. Your phone and in the back right here all right testing testing one two one two this is with the Rode microphone plugged in and i'm going to turn on the fan and see if it blocks out the noise all right so the fan is on high speed right here and i don't know can you hear the sound i'm going to unplug the microphone right now three Two, one. This is without the microphone plugged in. And let me know if you hear the fan. And I'll plug in the mic microphone one more time. And the microphone is plugged in right now. I'm gonna be quiet for about five seconds so you guys can hear the difference. So let's see if the Rode micro light, LED light, is good enough just for shooting. So it looks like it's pretty decent actually. And I think it's good enough to do a shot if you have all the lights off and I don't know, you're exploring a cave or something or you're in the subway and there's really bad lighting. I think that's good enough just without the diffuser. So it's way brighter. So if you want it really bright, just take off this little diffuser. So it makes me look blushed. It's a darker green. So if you re I guess if you're like recording a field or I don't know, trees and you want to make the trees pop green more, you would do that. This will do pretty good if you're traveling on an airplane, you just throw this in your book bag. All right, let's go check out the iSteady X 
three axis gimbal. This is the ultimate stabilization gimbal. It has three axis points. One, two, and three. And this is actually number one best selling gimbal on Amazon for a reason. Now, I'm not gonna bore you how to set it up and how to connect it to the app or anything like that. And the reason why is because it has a really good tutorial once you open up the app. And every other YouTube video about this device shows you how to set it up. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna show you that it can handle a microphone plugged in. We're gonna plug in the Rode Video Mic Me and we're gonna clamp it down. All right, so we got extra weight on this side, but let's see if the gimbal can handle it. This is gonna be folded up like that and you have this nice tripod that comes with it. I mean, it's small, but it gives you an extra handle. It has rubber feet on the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and just connect that. All right, and you wanna open it up, and when you first get it, it's going to be locked. So it's in a lock position right here. You wanna unlock it just by moving it over. And then this one, here's a lock right here. You wanna lift it all the way up and then lock that in and make sure this is unlocked too. So there's three locks, one, two, and then right here, three. And you just twist that to unlock it. Now, it's all loosey goose and tells you the phone camera has to face to the left. So I got my phone camera that's gonna be facing to the left. And you wanna make sure this sticker is up when you just look at the label right here, right? So you know which side is up. And I'm gonna go ahead and push it all the way flush to the mat. So you wanna push your phone all the way back. And then right here, you wanna make sure we have clearance. So now that we have the microphone plugged in, we don't have that clearance. So we're gonna shift the phone over just a hair, okay? and we should have clearance now. So we're good. Now, of course, we wanna download the Hohem Pro app, whether you have Android or iPhone, you should be able to install that on your phone. And you wanna go ahead and open that up and make sure everything's updated, of course. And you wanna make sure your Bluetooth is turned on because if it's not, then you won't be able to connect the gimbal to your phone and you can't set it up. Now there's a bunch of tutorials how to set it up and use the gimbal, which is really nice. And then you swipe over, there's your video, swipe again, there's your photos. Now my only gripe is, is that it can't control all three cameras. If your phone has three cameras, it's only gonna use that one camera or the forward camera or the rear camera, the main rear camera, that's what I'm trying to say. So tap and hold the Bluetooth. And there it is, ISX, I steady X. So click on that. Oh, we have to turn it on. Press the bottom right hand button for three seconds to turn it on. And boom, we're connected. It's that easy. And we have a light right here, the Bluetooth light saying that we're connected. And it says we're connected right here. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and open up the app and click on start recording there we go look at that cool and look at that it's handling the microphone that's what I wanted to show you guys not a lot of gimbals can handle a microphone plugged in and this is actually a decent sized microphone and it can handle it no problem and you can use a joystick Look at that, isn't that neat? And you can tilt it up and tilt it down. Very, very cool. And if you are recording in YouTube, of course you're gonna be recording in landscape, but if you wanna do a TikTok video, press the right button once, tap it, boom. And you got vertical for TikTok. And then you wanna go back and record YouTube format which is landscape mode tap once and your landscape mode 
very cool. And if you want to change the mode for your camera or a camcorder, you double tap. So the left button, if you double tap it, it's going to change the modes from camera to camcorder. And then the right button, you tap it and it's going to switch it from landscape to portrait mode. And right here controls your zoom. So press up to zoom in and then zoom back. Now if you tap the hand right here, there's a little hand icon, then it'll do a selfie. It'll take a picture. So let's go ahead and switch it over. And this is me. We're gonna tap that hand and then let's go ahead and see if it works. Three, two, one. All right, we're recording right now. And let's go ahead and all right, so I, I actually I didn't want to record. I wanted to take a picture. So you either tap, so you either double tap to change that mode or just tap on the screen to change the mode from camcorder to camera mode. All right, and then let's see if that works in camera mode. So we're gonna try it again. All right, so it worked, very cool. And it's very lightweight, easy to use, and of course, you got your microphone plugged in, so it can handle microphones. And you know, you could turn on the light right here if you want. You know, need light for your shot. You could turn on your camera light, but it won't be able to handle this rig right here, of course, because that's a lot heavier. But this is very nice, and there's a reason why this is the number one bestseller on Amazon. If you guys are interested in the Hohem Gimbal or the Rode Vlogger Kit, check out the links in the video description below. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that might be interested in these devices, go ahead and click on the share button below. Share this video to them, help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks.